The hinterlands of Somalia are the unlikely birthplace of one of Australia's best tech minds. Jamila Gordon has come a long way. The village was uh, very desolate. It was dusty. Um, we had water um, um, in the wells. Uh, my mother had, uh, was either pregnant every year or she had a baby because at the end she had 16 children. Her family moved to Mogadishu to avoid drought, but when civil war broke out, they were separated. Jamila sent to live with distant relatives in Kenya. With my friends in Kenya, through them, I met an Australian backpacker who was there his second day <laughs> in, in Kenya, and uh, we became friends, and he sponsored me to Australia. Arriving in Australia alone, aged 18, she started at Square One. English classes and a casual job washing dishes. She soon reached her goal of university, eventually graduating in IT, a field that brought back memories of her first school in Somalia. The process I used to uh, memorise the Quran in the village where I was born uh, was exactly the same as the process of software programming that I used when I was at La Trobe University. From software programming, she worked her way up the IT ladder with a stint in Europe for the likes of IBM, before returning to Australia as the Chief Information Officer for Qantas. Jamila has become an advocate for diversity. She now helps launch tech startups. There's really not a lot of growth-focused technology people operating at a, an extremely high level in Australia, so it was, it was an absolute pleasure and we saw eye to eye straight away. She's always had a vision for what she wanted to do, but a great determination uh, and incredible will and drive to get the job done. Proof of the possibilities of dreaming big. Johnny Blakali, SBS World News.